Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to discuss a little baby called Etsy. I think it's a great momentum play into Christmas and if you want to get it, you might want to get it right into right before earnings. Etsy, you know, they sell, uh, it's a selling place, kind of like uh, Amazon. Crafts and artwork and I mean here we got a lady that's made some special looking face masks. So you can have your own little store and you can sell your own merchandise here. And I might look at this lady here and see if I can pick something up. I want to get me some of them silk mask. I love silk. So that's Etsy. Let's see why. You know, the buy cheaper e-commerce star Etsy stock before third quarter earnings. I know there's a lot of institution buying this stock, and I know we've had a pretty good little pullback. And I think with the COVID cases, we could have an increase right into Christmas. So this is going to be Etsy. Let's look at the chart. You can see we did have a nice little pullback, pretty hard sell off to support level. And that support was right here at 132.80. You see we tried to break the triple top. She went up to resistance and pulled back to that support level. I talk about this a lot when I'm doing my classes on Saturday, how to find supports, pivot points, and resistance, resistances after a breakout stock. And this is just one fine example of how we do it. We have an ascending triangle with a triple top, very strong, when, especially when they go back once, twice, and then the third time, usually have a pretty good little breakout. That's a pretty strong ascending triangle right here. Hit resistance, pulled back to that horizontal line on that ascending triangle. Look at here. We pulled back to that horizontal line on this ascending triangle. Strong support. Lesson learned. Chart patterns pullbacks we did the same thing up here we hit that resistance it pulled right back to that support level if you missed the trade down here you wanted to chase it you, you got in too high wait for them pullbacks you got in you started getting in it here you think it was going to break wait for that pullback to that horizontal line and then once it breaks wait for that pullback to that breakout line happens all the time we had a J-Lo bottom right here, an inverse head and shoulders, but the right shoulder wasn't up too high, so it went on down. Went right back to this support level, 132.80. Strong support. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, and five. So if it does pull back, it can pull back to that level. That'd be probably a pretty you know, strong buy again, or we could have a 135.13 right here. Resistance to break is going to be this 142.40. I 42.27. I think we can break that, have a double top break. There is some resistance right here, as you see. I always talk about look at history of a stock. That's going to be a hard resistance. Once we break past that, we can build her on up to these higher levels. And the next resistance on Etsy is going to be right up in here. You see where we touched down right here? You see where we had that high right here? So we're going to find an equilibrium to that. We're going to look down here. We're going to see a wick right here. A little bit below that so let's bring her on up to this resistance level of 146.07 and I've got to change this back over here 146.07 right in there then we could bring it on up to a higher level of right around here oh I'd say 150.12 and that's Etsy keep her on watch I'm gonna call a low support right down here at 132.80 for a retracement back up if it does pull back we are having higher lows. I think we'll break the double top at 142.27 and start breaking this resistance up here at 145.94. Earnings are going to be good. 150.12 and then a double top up here at 153.73. Let's look at the yearly chart just to see what we've got. All time highs 154.88. Keep that in mind. Let's see if we can break it. Pretty strong momentum. We did have a strong pullback here into the channel. The pivot point in between this what we had here at the triple bottom. It did pull back to that triple bottom and bounced right back up and created higher highs. Chart patterns, triple bottoms, moving averages. That's how I trade. So I wish everybody a great day and catch you tomorrow. That's Etsy. I love stocks. Always remember... Follow us on Twitter. Hit that follow button. We've got a few followers. We started about a year and a half ago on this site, and we're building them up. Vegas, she calls them out. She's a great tape reader. I like following Vegas because she reads the tape, and she can pick up them momentum plays. 
And she likes me because I can call them supports, pivot points, and resistances. AMD had a big old uh, buy yesterday into AMD. We're bullish on AMD. As you scroll on down here, I did a, um, a little video here. Or not a video, but a trend spider. We're affiliates with them. You can always hit that and get their platform. I really like uh, trend spider. It's a very helpful platform for beginners and experienced traders. But we're always posting alerts in here. DSS was a great trade yesterday. I called this out first thing in the morning. Miss Vegas followed up. After I started looking at other tickers, I completely forgot about it, but it was on my low float. Uh, it was on my low float. Netsy, I wanted to remind you, it's got a 116 million float. For a company like that, that's pretty pretty good float for a, a stock that can move. Also, on our website, we have our stock twits names, both Vegas and I. Please hit that like button on there and follow some of our tickers. I did a video this morning on a little bit of update stocks that I'm going to be watching. I forgot to put Etsy in there, so I did a private video for it. I wish everybody a great day. I love stocks.